Hello everybody, how are you students? Everybody is alright to start our class today. So I'm not tired, but maybe tomorrow I will feel I will be tired. But before we start it, uh, I we start I will show all my notes. I use this. Another one, another one, this paper to help me. So let's try to teach you a little bit. So the first expression that I will try to explain to you is right away. What's mean right away? Right is right. Yes, like this. A way it's like a, a one way. So when you put together, it's like a immediately, faster. So now, yeah, a one sentence that I write here is I was trying to write, but my teacher found me right away. I tried, but I tried, but the teacher found me right away. This is the first one. The next one, let me write here, is spell out for, it means explain in details, spell everybody knows, like spell one word, so the idea is almost the same, so spell out for, uh, it's like a one, in one phrase is, I have no idea what you are talking about, please spell out for me. And then the other people start to explain in details what I don't know, don't know. The next one is this, so far. So far, it means uh, until now, like until now. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I am on study in level four so far because I want to study in graduate school. No, because I want to study MDiv like this. But I'm studying level four so far. Uh, another one is speak up. Speak up. Speak more loudly, please, it mean. Uh, so the teacher can, I can ask you to, teacher, please, uh, speak up, because I'm not able to hear you. It's very easy, no? Shut down. So I can use one sentence. Sorry, I cannot help you because I already shut down, shut down my computer. It means when you already is closed, when you close something, you shut down. Actually, you use this word a lot when you talk about computer. Search me. This is the word, search me. When you have no idea about some... Ah! When you have no idea about something. So, you said, uh, search me. Why are you talking about? Because I'm not... I don't know. I really don't know. I search me. Hello. We had a little problem, but I wish that we this problem not be happening again. And another word is show up. Show up is um, arrive. Show up. Yes. So we, we can use in one sentence like everybody were waiting to the new car, but it showed up two hours late. So, it's about arrive. The other word is show around. So, you can use show around to, to see around something. To see, to, to make a tour, like a tour. So, you can ask if someone, uh, I'm a new student here in IAS. Uh, please, can you show up? No, can you show around? <laughs> and another one can help you. The other word is, so, run late, it means when, when we be late, like, 
I'm lost many class, so I need to run late now. Because you need to to take the all things that you lost before. The other word run off the mill. One of the real the new the mill it's when when something it's common, uh, it's normal, it's ordinary. So like it. I have study every day because I don't like to be a run of the mill student. Ring the other word. Ring a bell. Ring a bell when something sounds like a familiar, when something sounds familiar to, to me. Uh, like if someone asks you, have you ever heard about uh, John, John Robinson? And it's a, mm, uh, this name, the name doesn't uh, ring a bell, so it's not strange, but you don't re 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 recognize, recognize before. Recognize before. Thank you, Anemia. My wife is here to help me. <laughs> short pour. The name already explained what happened when can be short, like a uh, photo. It's short for photography. So short for. Like Joe Mar is short for Jose Mario. Yes? <laughs> Snow the under when you are very busy because snow, snow everybody knows what mean. So when you are under the snow, so you are very busy. So the phrase and uh, I'm I am snowed under, so I cannot be go to the party today, to the party today, because I am very busy. The other word, slowly but surely, it means when you go slow, but you never stop, and not go faster and stop so fast too, but you go slow, slow, but you Continue going, like uh, I'm a building my career slowly but surely. Actually, I go step by step, and I can take my. And the last one, sleep on it. Sleep on it. It's when, yeah. When you postpone a decision until the next day, actually, you are in doubt, so you want to take more time to think about, and but you come with the solution the next day. So, like, I'm not sure if I buy this new house, so I will sleep on it. So, means tomorrow I, I will know the, the decision. If I will buy or not buy the house. Okay, thank you so much. I finished my class for today. And... And... Bye!